What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Ken Beckford here, Block Beast Brooklyn. Guys working over there fixing up the bakery. Standing there on 6th Avenue in Bergen. Not too far from the Barclays. Enjoying a wonderful day. It's beautiful out here today. It's actually better than it was yesterday as far as uh, temperature. You know, I like it warm, hot. Today is pretty good. Like you know, as you can see, the daughter is shining. I say the daughter because you know, it's not enough female energy out there that's uh, perpetuated as powerful and influential. And we got the daughter giving us all this beautiful life. Well, anyway, check a look at what's out here in Brooklyn. The Soros in a dictionary. And some other stuff. I'm thinking whether or not I should take it with me. Frankenstein. Uh, that's actually something that I thought about. I was thinking about that Frankenstein book the other day. And now look, I was thinking about it because how can book of quotations? Hmm. Let's look up some quotations. But um, yeah, I was thinking about Frankenstein because when you think about Frankenstein, you think about automation. And for me, the blog beast is my baby Frankenstein. All right, so you know, just something that I thought you would want to know. By any at any given time, you feel like clicking on the clicking on the link below. You can you can click the link below, and that will lead you to the blog beast movie. We're up to part two. If you're catching this today, um, the fifteenth of uh, October. If you catch it tomorrow, then you may be able to see part three. It's part three, which up tomorrow afternoon. All right? But um, let's look at a quote here. Let's see what's happening. I don't want to pick one that's too long. Here's one from Emily Dickinson. I never spoke with God, nor visited in heaven. Yet I'm certain of the spot as if the chart were given. That's dope. I like that one. That's from Poems 4. And uh, do you feel like that? Do you feel like you have the blueprint? Honestly, if you do, write in the chat, in the in message box, in the comment box, and let me know what your blueprint is. Because I particularly feel that I do have the blueprint too. You know, for heaven on earth. You know. And I'm not by any means religious, but I, I, I do have some info. I do know a bit about the Bible and things of that nature to a degree, you know, that I feel comfortable with uh, sharing. And, you know, the, the prophet from Galilee said that uh, on earth as it is in heaven, right? So I feel that there can be a blueprint that's on, on earth, but how and uh, how, how, how is it? What is it? And how do we actually apply it once we know what it is? Because knowledge is the new currency, right? And if knowledge is currency, where is your knowledge coming from? Is it coming from the TV? Is it coming from the radio? Is it coming from million dollar earners who are showing you what they learn? You know, you know, the billion dollar billionaires or, you know, books? You know, where is it coming from? And that's a good question to ask yourself. For me, it's coming from the wealth of everything that, that I take in. We naturally consume. We gotta, we gotta sift what we consume on. We gotta filter it out and get the best stuff in and put the best stuff back out because we are what we reproduce at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I do actually. I'm actually creating a blog right now. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Yes, he just asked me for a light. Um, I don't think I have one, but, um, you know, we're out here in Brooklyn, people leaving dictionaries around, and uh, I think I'm going to take it. I have my little cousin up the block. We're going to make part two. I'm going to take the dictionaries up the block. He's five. He could use this about, you know, forever. All right, I'm out of here. Click the link below. Remember, the Blog Beast Redemption is out now. Part three will be out tomorrow. Get with the movement. It's moving. Blog Beast.